Object-Oriented Programming Concepts Object-Oriented Programming is easily one of the most popular programming languages. In this video, we're going to cover its concepts along with interview questions and answers. A Detailed Guide on Object-Oriented Programming What is Object-Oriented Programming? It is a type that views the programming world as groups of objects. It combines various data attributes with functions or methods into units. Each unit is referred to as an object. Most OOP languages are class-based, meaning that you have to define a class to hold data attributes and functions. In simple words, a class is considered an entity. On the other hand, an object is an instance of the class. You can also create parents and children classes. One or more objects can be created in the same class and interact with each other as well. Some popular examples of OOP language include Python, Java, and C++. Let's consider an example of a student record. A student is considered a class, whereas attributes are objects. These can include name, role number, age, class, and etc. The four basic concepts of object-oriented programming. Object-oriented programming is based on four fundamental concepts. While they might seem complex, they basically define the complete framework of OOP. Here are all of them explained in detail. 1. Encapsulation as the name suggests, encapsulation has a similar meaning to the word capsule, the term meaning to enclose something like a pill does inside its coating. In OOP, encapsulation refers to creating barriers around a class. It allows you to keep all the information in one place and distinguish it from the rest of the code. The main purpose of encapsulation is to hide the private details of a class. We do it by binding the data and functions within a single unit. It only exposes the functionality to the outside world. It prevents a class from calling code access to its private data. 2. Inheritance Inheritance is an important aspect of object-oriented programming. Almost every OOP language supports hierarchies. It means that a class can have a parent and a child class. A class inherited from another class obtains the same properties and functionality, but it can also be extended to contain more code. Inheritance has many benefits, the biggest one being the reusability of a code. You do not need to redefine the parent class functions in the child classes. You can simply use them anywhere in the code. The relationship derived from inheriting classes are known as is-a types. 3. Abstraction When writing a code, the priority is to offer an efficient interface. You can compromise on the implementation. Abstraction is similar to an SRS document's black box property. It offers all the benefits and features without showing the inner working and coding of a program. In object-oriented programming, we hide away all the inner details of a class. As a result, users can easily interact with the interface. You can also access class members individually via abstraction. Another benefit of abstraction is the isolation of a class. It means that any changes in a class will not affect the rest of the code. 4. Polymorphism The word polymorphism means many or different behaviors. In OOP, it refers to using a parent class to affect an object in the child's class. It allows uniform functionality and treatment of the entire hierarchy. Polymorphism requires code that can handle objects from the root of the hierarchy. Any object instantiated by a child class is handled the same way thus offering uniform treatment. Since child classes have the same interface and functions as their parents, the calling code can call any single or multiple function. Depending on the type of the object passed, the right function will be called at the runtime. Top Object-Oriented Programming Interview Questions and Answers in 2022 Question. What is Object-Oriented Programming? Answer. Object-oriented programming is a type of programming in which programs are considered as a collection of objects. OOP binds data and code together, using objects rather than procedures and functions. Question: What is the difference between OOP and SOP? Answer: SOP refers to structural programming. It uses a top-down approach and provides a logical structure where each program is based on functions. There's not much code reusability, and SOP is only suitable to solve moderate problems. OOP, on the other hand, is based on objects. It uses a bottom-up approach and solves all complex problems as well. The code reusability factor is also higher in object-oriented programming. Question. What are the main features of OOP? Answer. Object-oriented programming is based on inheritance, abstraction, encapsulation, and polymorphism. 
Question. What are some examples of OOP languages? Answer. The most popular OOP languages are Java, Python, C, C++, and Ruby. Question. What is a class in OOP? Answer. In OOP, a class is a representation of a prototype. It's a blueprint that consists of objects with different behaviors. Question. What is an object in OOP? Answer. An object is an instance of the class with unique behavior, identity, and state. What is the difference between a class and structure? Answer. A class is a user-defined blueprint that consists of objects. A structure is a user-defined collection of variables of different data types. Question. What is the difference between a class and an object? Answer. A class is a logical entity that binds methods and data together in a single unit. An object is like the variable of the class, which serves as an instance of the class. Question. What is a constructor? Answer. A constructor is a method used to initialize an object. The name of construction should not be the same as the class. It also does not have a return type. Question. Can you call the base class method without creating an instance? Answer. Yes, you can call the base class method inherited by some other subclass or is a static method. Conclusion And that's all you need to know to get started with object-oriented programming. While OOP is a bit complex, it can solve larger problems too. Plus, you have various languages following this model, making it easier to learn and implement.